Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can sync this project file with a SharePoint site and then, and then how you can get that SharePoint site into a Teams channel. So first of all, on the screen, I've got a small project called Product Development. What I need to do, I've saved this, and what I need to do is go File, Save As. And you can see you've got the option there, Sync with SharePoint. So I'm going to click on that. Then this screen comes up. So you've got new SharePoint site. I don't want to create a new site. I want to use an existing one. And then you've got this option coming up. And there are a few other options in there. But that's the one I want. Then you verify the site. And it gives you the option then to name the list. So I'm going to call this products. Just call it products. Put a capital P on there. And then you just click save. So that's now saved. If I go onto the SharePoint site and just refresh this task list or the site contents, I should see products. There it is. And if I click on products, you've got product development, which is the name of the project. And if you click on that, it should open up the tasks and you can see the tasks there. Now, if I go back into project, if I just add a new task, if I just add a review task in there, so two days and just link it to the end there. So it goes at the end. So at the moment that is not synced. So it's still, still as it was there on the, pro, the actual um, SharePoint site. So if I go back and go file, save as, sync again and just save it like that. It will sync it on the SharePoint site. Just refresh this. And there you can see it's been synced there. You've got that there. You can actually add things on the SharePoint site. So if I just put test at the end there, give it a date. Just move this across a little bit so you can see some of the other columns. And then a due date, 3rd of March. All the rest of it can stay as it is. So you've got that at the end there. Now when I go back to project, I go file, save as, sync, save. It's brought test at the top there instead of the bottom, but it's now showing you that. So anything that you add in this view will appear once you do the, um, the sync option. So if I go file, save as, sync, save. Let's put that in there. So that's how you can get this project file onto a SharePoint file and have it synced. Personally, I'd just um, have it work in one way just to make sure everything's okay. If I delete something, so let's have a look at doing this. Um, let's delete something on this. Let's delete those two tasks that I just did. And if I go file save as again, sync. It now comes up and asks me, how do I want to handle this? Do I keep the SharePoint version or do I keep the project version? So I want to keep the project version. And again, so for both tasks. Now if I go back to SharePoint, review that, refresh that, they've gone. So we're back to square one. So now what I want to do is I want to get this into my team site. So I've got my team site down here. So what I'm going to do is um, add an extra section. I need a website option because I'm going to paste the website in. So I'll call this products as well. Put a capital P on it. Now what I need to paste in here is the URL from that SharePoint site. So if I go back to the SharePoint site and just copy this copy that 
and then paste it into this and then save. I should see that coming through onto a team site. So I'm on the training channel on my teams, Steve's team site, and there's a link to that project and you can see it there. So you basically, just to recap, you create your project plan, you save it as normal, and then you want to sync it to SharePoint. So you go file, save as, sync with SharePoint, save, and then that will save any changes. And if you want that available in your team site, you just copy the web address and paste it in on the, um, the website app on your team site, as you can see there. So I've got one there, I think project plans, I'm not sure what that is. That's just an actual project site. So that's how, uh, if you created a new site option when you did sync to SharePoint, this is what it does, it creates it creates this. It's an actual, an actual site for you. Uh, that would be on there. So training, I think that's not a site, that's just a, a list but you get an extra site, so it wouldn't be on the communication site, it would be on a whatever you call the site. I haven't got one set up, so I can't show you. But that's all I want to talk about in this particular session, so hopefully it was of use to you, and I'll see you on the next one.